So now let's uh, bring in the vocals, and we're going to work on that for a while. And uh, then we're going to work on automation, because out of all the different things that we could choose to work on, um, I feel like those are the two most important things left. Uh, this song will not sound great without a lot of automation. And, uh, you know, to answer the question from the chat earlier, why not put reverb on the orchestra? Yeah, you could do that. And, uh, you know, if the, I was mixing this in real life and I got this far day one and came in tomorrow and add, did another four hours of, like, tweaking the snare and tom some and maybe adding some reverb and tweaking the automation, yeah, I would definitely do that. Uh, so, good suggestion. You're a winner. You win the prize. The uh, good suggestion prize. We don't have a prize for you, but uh, just know that you won it. All right. Let's start with vocals. Let's hear what we got. Just want to hear one. This isn't going to sound pretty. I know. I'm fully aware. Now is not going to I die. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just you know, we're all on the same page here. There's a few lows in there that I don't like, that aren't necessary. So I'm going to start by uh, filtering those out. Everything below 100, I think, to get out of there. I'm just a sick of super lead, yet I will burn you wow. I'm just a sick of super All right, now, um... Here comes the fun part. Um, I'm going to compress the living shit out of him because he needs it. Um, and I'm going to use Gain Reduction Deluxe. Um, I don't use it very often. I haven't used it very often, but I was messing with it recently. And it's awesome. Sorry, Joey. I'm sorry that I had to compliment the plugin. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to use that and, um, it has a feature that I really like that I think is good about this. Um, and the reason I'm picking it, by the way, is because it is so aggressive of a plugin. Um, I want something aggressive here. I want something that's going to, uh, compress the shit out of them. But, uh. Instead of using too much EQ here, I'm going to mess with the body right here. See what we come to. So, let's be careful. I'm just a sick of super lead, yet I will burn you wow. I'm just a sick of super lead, yet I will burn you wow. I'm just a sick of super lead, yet I will burn you wow. I'm just a sick of super lead, yet just supposed to sound cool. <laughs> it does. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> you know, now, before he sounded like an angry baby pterodactyl, and at least now he sounds like an adult pterodactyl that's pissed. I'm just a sick of Superlead, yet I will burn you wow. And I'm using gain reduction is because, according to Joey, this is a very good uh, compressor to use when you have vocals that were not recorded through a compressor. Um, these vocals, clearly, as you can see, were not recorded through a compressor. Um, so this is a very aggressive compression, and uh, I like it already. I'm going to do a little bit of EQ, though, but I'm going a different method here. Uh, I don't want, I'm going to try 
something that I haven't done yet on this session. Um, I always confuse these uh, pull texts. Um, I'll make sure I'm grabbing the right one. This isn't the right one. Uh, no, this is not the right one. I don't know why I always confuse their names. I don't know if there's any plugins out there that you guys uh, that you guys tend to confuse with other plugins. I'm trying to think of one myself. That's just got like a similar name. So it's like, I, I confuse I, the APIs. I can never remember the 550A or B. Yeah, yeah, that's that one. This is what I was looking for. Here we go. Okay. Get rid of some of the ugly mids. And give it a little bit of a expensive. I'm just a sick as you believe, yet I will burn your world. I'm just a sick as you believe, yet I will burn your world. I'm just a sick as you believe, yet I will burn your world. I'm just a sick as you believe, yet I will burn your world. I'm just a sick as you believe, yet I will burn your world. I'm just a sick as you believe. For me, is sick. Guys, bear with me here. She felt sick as she felt sick as she felt sick as I don't want to DS so much that you give the dude a lisp. So if I turn the range all the way up, the guy gets a lisp. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> before and after, like that's a big difference. Oh yeah. I like this DSer a lot. Fab filter again to the rescue. Now, I'm going to do a Joey trick here that he taught me on the second vocal. Um, the second vocal, I'm going to uh, affect it a little differently than this. See, I learn stuff too. We all do. Yeah. The Joey trick is that the double is, uh, instead of having it affected the same and just tucked under, um, it has a lot more uh, like time-based processing and like chorus and doubling and things like that. Right? Yes, sir. Sometimes even distortion. Ah! All right. Well, you know what? Then I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a hint. Take that as a hint to add some distortion. Hint taken. Well, let's find a cool preset like like vocals. Punk vo angry vox. I'm just a sick as you believe. 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 I'm just a sick as you. I'm gonna 
I put micro shift on it? Brand new uh, alarm clock. <laughs> that is a good alarm clock. <laughs> micro shift uh, is a really cool plugin by uh, Sound Toys. It's a stereo chorus thing. And uh, here, I'll let you hear it. It's got different modes to it. Sorry, don't mean to laugh. <laughs> now I start with you, I die. Man, that. Die. Jesus, what the hell's going on there? Die. <laughs> die. Okay, this is a case of. Uh, what am I doing? All right, do you guys realize what I just did? Um, type one if you know what I just did, and type two if you don't, because I need to explain this to you because it's very important. So, one, do you know what I just did? Yes. Two, you have no idea what I just did. One, two, one, two. Ooh, about split. Two, two, one. All right, one, I'm going to explain it. One, two. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Um, I noticed that at the end of this vocal, he makes a really stupid sound. Die! I, or I, <laughs> that? I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, this is the kind of stuff I, I live for. <laughs> I'm bouncing that out real quick. Hang on a second. I, <laughs> I do this stuff too. I. <laughs> I. <laughs> I. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's a really stupid sound there. Um, I. And uh, I didn't hear him do it on the double. I. I mean, it's not great, but uh, so what I did was I took the double and I put it. I took the lead track and put it on the double, put the double, put it on the lead track, drew it back, and then listened to them together. I, die. I didn't hear it anymore. So, uh, you know, be, be mindful of stuff like that. Um, if a vocalist makes a stupid sound or whatever, try to see if you can find another take where he didn't do the stupid sound and uh, copy it in there. 
I was going to say, pro tip, uh, send things like this to the vocalist because they'll get really embarrassed and they'll ne <laughs> never do it again. So if you're like in the middle of an album and you're, you've done the first song, just send all the stupid stuff to them. Be like, dude, listen to what you did. Listen to how stupid you sound. And then the next time they come to do the next song, they won't do that. <laughs> it works. 